straight and level approach, half roll, inverted flight, half roll, straight and level exit. Let's look at the geometry of the manoeuvre. The geometry is a straight line. Well, that sounds easy. You simply need to roll to inverted, hold for at least 3 seconds, 3 to 5 is ideal, and roll to upright. But the manoeuvre must be centred, which means there must be an equal length of straight line before and after the centre line. The rolls must be exactly 180 degrees each, and the wings must be level during inverted flight. And the rolls must be at the same roll rate. The rolls must not change height or flight path. The flight path should not change height and the flight path should not change direction. Let's step through the manoeuvre. As always there should be an approach that is straight and level for at least 30 metres. You should normally be at full throttle or close to full. The model will maintain a more constant height this way. Note that you will be flying downwind so this manoeuvre can use up a lot of sky and you'll need to allow for this. Perform a half roll in either direction to inverted. Push elevator to hold straight and level inverted flight. It's a good idea to count to the centre. For example, 1000, 2000, 3000 and then perform the same count before you roll back to upright. 1000, 2000, 3000 then perform a half roll in either direction back to upright and fly straight and level for at least 30 metres to exit. Let's look at the real flight example again.